Okay, so I cleaned my room maybe like two weeks ago and it's not looking the cutest right now. So maybe I'll show you guys like a realistic view of my room, but I wanted to do a little room tour because I just always liked watching those on YouTube and they were like my favorite thing to watch to get inspo because I love like feng shui vibes and like I'm one of those people who rearranges my room every three months and I just get bored so easily. So I thought I would show you what my room looked like around the holidays versus what my room looks like now um, and just why I moved my bed and all these little in-between stuff. So um, yeah, without further ado, I'll get right into it. So right on my bedroom door, I just have this small little macrame framed mirror. And then right when you open my door, um, the first thing you see is my wooden bench and my TV. I tried to put my TV across from my bed so I could watch it in bed. And I tried to put my bench right next to the window so I could do some videos there and kind of look out the window while I'm sitting down. Um, I also put this little um, side table right across my TV in case I want to sit down and eat and have a little nice mukbang or do some art projects. I put my favorite magazine on display and I had just gotten the chair right next to it maybe two or three months prior to this video. And then same with that Playboy LED neon light. Um, that's actually one of my favorite pieces. I just need to get it to work again. Those tapestries I put up against the wall, I actually really, really like those tapestries there, but it it just wasn't the vibe for what I was going for when I decided to change my room, um, but I still have them in my closet. So going towards my bed, I took half my mannequin and put it on that little pedestal, and then I decided to use this like um, fabric I got at Joann's as like wallpaper. And then I put up one of my favorite um, tapestries that I've had for a very long time. That little um, tie-dye elephant, like space galaxy thing. I just feel like it brings me such good luck and good vibes. Um, and then the last little wall that I decorated and cleaned up was this um, little display of my favorite um, bag, some Aldo. And then I also have some of my like little painting and going out like travel bags right below it. So I just wanted to show you what my room looked like during Halloween. I just briefly put up some like cute little lights and candles. I know that pile of clothes kind of ruins the whole vibe and makes it messy, but I got these cute little like trick or treat pillows, um, I think from Ross. And then I put some like Halloween orange lights and some fake candles and such. And then just some of my favorite decor from that time was that crystal ball from Cracker Barrel. And then those two little candle abras from Target. I also really liked these little candle hands from uh, Bath and Body Works. They were so cute. So these next couple clips, I'm honestly not proud and a little embarrassed to show. But the only reason why I'm choosing not to cut these out is only because I was planning on making a cleaning my quote unquote like depression pit video. If you guys ever watch those videos on YouTube. And I just thought it was really important to show myself um, just how much progress I've made um, trying to keep my room, like keep on top of my room and my laundry to try to make it the vibe that reflects the mood I want to be in. So honestly, I'm not proud to show this, but it's just a realistic view of the kind of funk I could get into. And then just the before and after really just makes it that much more special for me and my progress. So now that I've actually like cleaned and cleared out my room. The first thing you see in my room is actually my bed, as well as this cute little strawberry poster I got at work. Um, they were about to throw it away, so I got it for free. That was pretty exciting. We've had it like for at least three years in that Bath and Body store. And then right when you close my door, I put my little painting bag so I could just kind of quickly grab it and go as well as these jackets. These are like my go-to jackets in case I'm leaving the house and I need a quick jacket. I did plan on actually putting it in this closet and making this closet like a mini coat closet. Um, and then this is just a little like jewelry stand with all my little favorite jewelry bracelets and I was gonna put some rings on there. But I ended up just hanging up a lot of my clothes, nothing special. And then I put my laundry baskets at the top and at the bottom because I just have that many clothes. I kind of need to get rid of a lot that I actually don't fit. You could kind of see those ones are overflowing a bit. And then my Cardi B poster. I've had this poster for a minute. Um, she's actually one of my 
biggest fashion inspos as well as like Riri and um you know a couple others but um I decided to take those bags off the wall because I wasn't really using all the bags I really only use this pink one so let me actually turn on this lamp so you guys could see a little bit better but I actually have my flash on as well um, I decided to move my big mirror from out behind that chair in the corner and then draw a little doodle on it because I got these little like um, glass proof markers and then I decided to dress my mannequin and um, some clothes I had saved except for her skirt that's actually made out of one of my extra hand towels because I have not found her a cute little bottom yet. Um, and then I got this bag actually recently, uh, maybe two weeks ago from Forever 21. It was 30% off. I think they're slowly trying to get rid of their Hello Kitty stuff. And this cute little Mean Girl shirt, it says, that is so fetch. It was like $3 clearance at JCPenney. I still have to find her some shoes, but it's believe unbelievably hard to put shoes on her. Um, my little Croc collection I'm starting to build, I... Just have them laid up, um, right under my mirror against these like little cement bricks, as well as my grab and go to shoes for work. I decided to keep that chair I had in the corner in that corner because it's still facing my TV, even though I uh, moved my TV to a different wall. I also decided to keep that LED Playboy bunny sign right there because I just really like the way it brings in the light from that corner. I just have to get it fixed because it something in the switch actually snapped. Um, I decided to use this wall to hang some of my favorite records. I honestly haven't listened to every one of these records I've um, put up, but I've listened to at least two songs off of each of the older ones, and then I put up some of my new favorite modern ones, like the Miley Cyrus one and Kesha. Um, honestly, a lot of the album work off the older ones are just such an aesthetic, even if the music is like not completely the vibe. Um, and then I decided to put up a new um, set of curtains just to kind of bring in some color and light into this room. I originally had these sheer curtains that allowed a lot of sunlight, but these sheer ones have a design, so I decided to swap them out. Um, I put one of my favorite bags kind of next to my bed for display purposes. I kind of want that to be my new painting bag. And then my sister actually just gave me that cute little like parole like um, Christmas tree topper looking light. And then I put some of my favorite lanterns right above, but I honestly have to put some new um, like lights in there because the ones I have aren't the, str uh, the brightest. So I actually decided to move a lot of my furniture to this wall right across from my bed, especially this bench. I thought it would be a great idea to put a little blanket over it and then have people sit there and they could face my bed and talk to me. I also got this cute little cherry neon sign that worked perfectly next to my mannequin and moved my little guitar neon sign right above my bench. I just really thought it tied in this whole wall. I really actually enjoy the way this wall came out. I know the bottom half looks a little cluttered, but I honestly plan on putting a little mini dresser right underneath my TV like a normal person. But right now it's just my record player and um, some random like picture frames and junk I need to sort through. So this is what my bed looks like during the day when I have my curtains open. Um, I decided to add real candles in front of my window, and I'm just so happy that I decided to do that. Um, this tree is actually one of my favorite things to stare at when I actually open my window, which I'll do in a minute. So it is kind of loud when you open my window, but honestly, I like the little hustle and bustle of the cars driving by. It just it's somewhat peaceful. I don't know how to explain it exactly, but the trees, like on a nice day, you'll kind of see the leaves dance around and such, and... I don't know just when it's a good day that tree really reflects that if that makes sense um so this wall i just want to put some more decor but an overview of my room looks a lot better than it did before so i actually do enjoy where i decided to put my record player the only thing is i do want to still put it on top of a proper dresser so i could actually hold a lot more clothes in a, a more organized way and I could put some crystals on top of it. Um, 
But other than that, I really enjoyed where I decided to put things, especially the horse blanket I put on top of that bench. So I put my window candle on my bench for a minute and it looks like I'm doing some kind of ritual. <laughs> and I felt like candles were always like something you burn during the night, but I'm trying to be one of those people that burns it in the morning.